Hello, this is Mr. Greisman, and in this vodcast, I'm going to teach you how to properly measure volumes in a graduated cylinder. In front of me, I have three different graduates. I have a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, which measures to one tenth of a milliliter of precision. I have a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, which measures to one milliliter of precision. And this baby over here is a two liter graduated cylinder that measures to 20 milliliters of precision. When measuring volumes in a graduated cylinder, it's important to pay attention to three things. First, you need to make sure that your graduated cylinder is sitting on a level surface. This is to avoid the problem of not holding your graduated cylinder correctly vertically and not reading the volume correctly. So always place your graduated cylinder on a level surface. Next, you want to make sure that you're reading the volume at eye level, which means that you need to move your head down to the volume in the graduated cylinder to avoid something called parallax. And I'm expecting that you'll research parallax and find out what exactly the problem is that, that it creates. The third thing is that you have to read from something called the bottom of the meniscus. Now, when a solution or water is placed into a graduated cylinder, the properties of the water or the solution tend to make it want to climb up the sides of the graduated cylinder. You want to avoid reading the top of the meniscus and read from the bottom of the meniscus where the true volume is. So the three things to pay attention to are level surface, reading at eye level, and reading from the bottom of the meniscus. Thank you.